Hello, this is Joyce. Well, I'm kind of sad, y'all. This is the third day of our three-day weekend. It is 8.15 in the evening and almost time to go to bed. Tomorrow it is back to work. How can those three days go so fast? It's like they were there and then they wasn't. So anyway, I have had a good time. I got some work done. I've made some videos. Um, set up my fitness planner for the month of July. Yes, we are in July. Uh, I met some of my goals, some I didn't. I am looking for some new fitness stickers. If you know any where I can buy some, that would be wonderful. I mean, I like the Happy Planner, but, you know, they are, that's all I've been using. So I'm definitely in the market for some new ones. For the month of July, you know, I have set my goals. First of all, let me tell you that my goal for last month was to lose eight pounds. And I tried to keep it within a reasonable attainable goal you know I didn't want to say I'm gonna lose 20 pounds when I knew that wasn't gonna happen but I thought eight pounds was doable uh, my goal was to exercise at least for at least four days a week if I could get in a walk every day that's great but at least four days a week at 45 minutes uh, I added my you know I followed the 1200 calorie menu plan pretty much perfectly there was some days that I kind of switched things around some but that's okay so as far as the first goal uh, to lose eight pounds I ended up losing 6.4 pounds so yes I am truly excited about that because I didn't have any of that fluctuation going on so I am truly excited so I uh, didn't exercise as much as I would have liked. The first two weeks I did pretty good, but the last two weeks not so much. Uh, I was having some major back issues, um, pain where some days I couldn't even move or I just felt bad for those two weeks. So I exercised some, but not as much, but I did keep following the food plan. I did keep with the 1200 calories so I'm excited about that because usually when I feel don't feel good I don't eat good either but food prep helps with that and so I get my food prep done um, you can see some of my pictures over on my Instagram channel uh, I measure myself once a month I haven't added that to here and I don't want everybody to know that but um, I'm definitely excited about the 6.4 pounds and as you can see it's my planner is lots of encouragement encouraging stickers let's see if no I want to go down so I can bring more of it into and my light my lighting is awful it's nighttime and seriously my lighting in here is bad so a lot of this is like the time is now uh, you know, it's, it just is. I cannot go on feeling the way I had been feeling. I've got to get the weight down. I want to come off the blood pressure pill. And I don't want to go on the um, insulin or anything like that. I am pre-diabetic. I was diagnosed as being pre-diabetic. So I have to control, you know, keep my carb levels on an even keel can have those spikes and that's one reason I am truly following this plan because uh, the way they set it up is to tell you what foods you can switch foods you can long as you do your measuring and stuff and you probably can't see this but on the side it has a pattern it'll tell you how many proteins for each meal how many carbs for each meal your fat and your vegetables so you know your fruits are all carbs, uh, your breads, your, your toast, your things like that are carbs, your milk is a carb. Um, 
so it'll tell you and that makes it a lot easier so when you want to set up your own menus or when I want to set up my own menus I know that I can have one protein for breakfast I can have three carbs and I can have one fat okay uh, for lunch I can have two proteins which is either two ounces of milk uh, or one ounce no two ounces of meat or one ounce of say ham and one low-fat cheese that's two and I can have two carbs I can have two veggies and I can have one fat so and then for dinner you get three proteins two carbs two vegetables and one fat so that knowing that and that's what I didn't do several months ago when I was doing my own menus I did not use that pattern and once I realized that I thought no wonder I wasn't losing any weight I didn't weigh the foods as you know like I should have and it was a whole mess so I didn't do anything but fluctuate up and down I'd lose one day and then I'd be right back up so anyway you don't care about all that but this is my calendar for the month uh, like I said the goal for this month is once again I would like to try to lose eight pounds let's keep it real uh, to get that four days a week and if I can walk and that's at 45 minutes but if I could get a 30 minute walk in every day I would appreciate that I do want to do weights and I didn't add that on here I want to do uh, 30 minute weight training two days a week let me write this while I'm thinking about it I have uh, there are a couple ladies that I found on YouTube that do some really great exercises so for weights and I had been doing those so I want to get back to that two times a week so and I hadn't been writing my stuff down like I should so anyway uh, that's what it is one pound a day you know one pound at a time I can't I can only focus on one day at a time I can't worry about tomorrow I, I can just do it one day at a time so that's part of my goal is to not stress about what tomorrow brings and then in a week uh, not this week but next week I'm going to the scrapbook expo so I'll have to really plan as far as snacks and stuff um, so and you know trying to get some exercise too so I'm hoping the hotel, the hotel I think is a Hyatt, so, but I'm hoping they have a workout room. So I'm going to make sure I carry uh, something so at least I can get one or two days, you know, where I can get a little exercise in. Even though I know we'll probably be walking a lot, but during the classes you'll be sitting a lot too. So um, Weekends are for grocery shopping and food prep and that's what it looks like I don't know you know and I come through and during the day or during the weekend I'll make notes on there I'll, when I weigh in I'll put that on there um, so that's my July that's what it looks like and you know it can be I really want to work on getting the heart rate up but I really definitely want to work on the toning and building muscle so anyway um that is it and as I, I think I told you I still I've already started filling out for the week because I've made my book a little bigger so I'm not going to be lugging it around with me I'll have to do this at my desk here so I thought I'd get a jump start on the week it's bad today being the fourth I didn't overeat but I didn't really write anything down and I ran a lot of errands and stuff but yeah and I know with 90 degree weather I need to be I gotta put a picture in here you know so here they have a section at the end of each month progress selfie I have my picture taken but I need to put it in and how was I how was I successful my goal was I told you that to lose eight pounds I actually lost 6.4 um, which like I said I am excited uh, what didn't go so well uh, because of major back pain for over two weeks I did not exercise as much as I had planned how do I feel I feel great I am taking this one day at a time what motivates me the thought that I will be more healthy with each new day 
and for this month I gave myself four stars and that's just because I did stick with the uh, meal plan and then what can I do differently um, I haven't decided what I could do differently I mean because with the back pain it's really like that's one of those things where you don't have any control you don't control nothing when your back feels like it's tied up in knots so yeah so anyway thank you all for watching I know you really don't care about my weight routine but this has nothing to do with um, nothing to do with crafting this is just me sharing and showing you how I plan for that so anyway thanks for watching everybody bye